All right, so it's that time of the week again where I'm gonna review another app I found on the App Store. And this one is called Steno Notes. It's still in early access, but uh, I just wanted to go over it because I thought uh, the first thing that was missing on my phone, maybe it's weird because it's a Motorola, but it's just, it was missing a note-taking app. And I thought uh, it would be nice to have such a simple note-taking app. And uh, I explored this app a bit, but I just wanted to go to the Google Play Store to do this from the beginning because the last video I did a very vital mistake, which was essentially just to use my mouse pointer to interact with the entire app and using my mouse pointer actually caused a lot of bugs, but I'm gonna use my hands this time so my mouse pointer will move out of the way and we can start by typing in my name, which is Federico. And we will click on, let's go. So it has a very nice intro screen. It feels a bit personalized, which is amazing. If you go into the uh, developer about section, you'll see they really s try to concentrate on looks and uh, design. There's not many settings to deal with. It has a very simple upgrading plan where you can get some pr priority support, unlimited notes, themes, sync across the web and all of that. But moving on, they have a very simple uh, frequently asked question place. I misspelled the username, can I change it? You can change it any times in the settings. I need help. They're happy to answer your questions if you send it to their email. And I'm sure they're looking for feedback in the, these uh, early development stages. And support and help, what happens if you click there? Dedicated support is included with Steno Pro. And uh, it has a very beautiful counter here. You can see two nodes. It has a nice context menu or whatever you call it, a, sl a sliding menu. Uh, what else is there? So let's say, uh, let's create a new note. We're gonna say brilliant title. Oh, I guess I did title, uh, too late. Um, and then we're gonna add a hashtag which apparently opens a new folder, it creates a new folder. So we'll do new, f I guess that's only, you have to put them together probably. Uh, who knows, let's find out. If it will say new folder or it will be new, just new. And we'll add some text, hello. Now, will that create? No, it just creates new, of course. So the words must be connected in some way, probably. And we can go there and we can create a new note. And we can write new note uh, or new notes. And we're going to do hashtag help me. And then we will have four folders all color coded pretty nicely. And I see that the colors are kind of uh, they're progressing in a nice way. It means red, yellow blue and then a darker green or blue. I'm kind of colorblind, it seems. And if you click there, it lets you support them again. And what else is there? You can view all of your notes. You can't find it. Let's pretend you're looking for the one that says, hello, this is Tano. You type in, hello. There we go. And we go on new. And let's try to find hello again. Perfect. I don't know what, is brilliant title under hello? Or wh why is brilliant title still popping up? I wonder why it pops up with hello. That I don't really, ah, it's because I wrote hello in there. But uh, other, other than that, let's see, there are some balloons up here. If you click on balloons, you can share it apparently. Very interesting. I've never thought of balloons as being an icon for sharing. It looks more like a celebration icon. And I guess you can edit it by clicking here. You can confirm your changes there. Let's pretend I click on it, I tap here, I write some boring text and I click backspace. Does it save that stuff? No. So you have to click on the confirm button. Yeah, but essentially I talked a lot here. I didn't really say anything as usual, but I definitely recommend this app because it looks very, very simple. It looks like you can take notes. I don't know how many notes you can take at the moment. It says uh, you need to upgrade to get unlimited notes. So really quick, I'm going to test how many notes we can do and maybe it's around 10 if I just keep on doing, uh, I wish I had my number pad out. I don't wanna do this. And we add another note, choose another brilliant title. And let's see, what, I don't even know where these notes are even going. Example, new, are they in help me, 162? Ah, there they are. Anyway, if you view all of them, I guess they're not in a specified folder and that's why you couldn't find them if you look for them. So you'd have to have them with view all and to filter it, you could do like hashtag add it to the new folder, please. And then it'll be, wow, I'm in the new folder. And now you'll see in the new folder, you can find number three. Wow, that is very cool. 
But essentially, I still don't know what the limits are, how far you can go. It says in the, it says unlimited notes and folders. I don't know what the limit is at the moment, but it seems like you have a lot. Uh, oh, oh yeah, I forgot completely. Let's change the app theme to dark. And then we're gonna reset this app. And uh, it's pretty interesting because the top parts of the screen, you can't really see the numbers or the app status on the top such as the uh, the date and the battery percentage. But now let's go to settings and click on black mode and see what the difference between black and dark is. So black is even more black. It has no distractions. You don't have any battery, who cares? The time of the day, that's irrelevant. It is complete blackness. You will not have anything else but the black theme. And uh, yeah, actually, that's all I believe you can do in this app. It was pretty fun. I will keep it for future reference. I hope they don't add any adverts. That's the only thing I can imagine that would set this app back a lot. All in all, I definitely recommend this app if you want to take simple notes and your phone doesn't really provide you with a note taking app. And uh, yeah, I know this video is all over the place as always. I'm kind of confusing in my nature. But if there are any apps you found on the App Store that you definitely would like to uh, share around, I would be happy to make a review about it. I love speaking into my microphone. You can see I make lots of videos on my channel. I'm trying to find new content every day. I still need to read a lot so I can add some more tutorials. But for now, I also like making reviews from the App Store. But with all that being said, thanks for watching this video. I hope to see you in another video. And uh, yeah, have a good one.